We are reaching the end of the G1 Climax with Night 16 and the penultimate round of B-Block matches. How are you doing? Night 16 came from Yamagata City General Sports Centre and an attendance of 2,183. The opening contest had Nakajima coming in on 8 points, taking on Omega also on 8. There was a flurry of super kicks and heel kicks from Nakajima after he counted a one-winged angel attempt. Nakajima then hit a PK, but Omega reversed the vertical spike and hit a reverse Frankensteiner, which then set up the one-winged angel again for the win, and goes to 10 points, Omega does, in a three and a quarter star match, and Nakajima is now out of the running to win B-Block. Next up, Yanatoru coming on on 8 points, taking on Evil on 4. Not much to say about this one, Evil won with the Evil finisher and goes to 6 points in what was essentially a squash match. Yano didn't even have time to uh, take his shirt off. Yoshihashi on 6 points versus Naito on 10. Before the match even got started, following the Omega result, Yoshihashi was already unable to win B block going into this one, so he was just wrestling for pride now. Yoshihashi reversed a Destino attempt into a side slam. Naito then kicked out of a follow up Swanton and broke out of Butterfly Lock. And finally, Naito clinched it with a Destino and goes to 12 points to take the lead of the block. Three and three quarter star match, well worth spending the time to watch this one. The pacing was excellent. In the co-main, you had Shibata coming in on eight points, taking on Nagata on six in a rematch of the Never Open Weight title contests. This is a real slow grappler of a match. There's a lot of strikes and holds. Nagata hit a PK, but Shibata kicked out of that. And Shibata won in the end with a rear naked choke. Um, and Red Shoes just uh, stopped the match. I guess it looked like Nagata essentially passed out. Shibata goes to 10 points, freestar match. Shibata can win the A block now. I'll explain all in tonight's scenarios video. In the main event, Elgin on 8 points versus Honma on 4. Big Mike, big moves. Elgin delivered a Death Valley driver on the ring apron and powerbombed Honma into the ring post. He then followed that up with a second rope falcon arrow and then a top rope splash for two near falls. Elgin then hit a buckle bomb on Homa, but Homa bounced off the turnbuckle and hit a Kakeshi on Elgin. Homa went for his old method of Kakeshi Otoshi and trying to follow up with the diving Kakeshi, but he missed the diving Kakeshi, as usual. Finally, Elgin hit a buckle bomb and then the Elgin bomb to pick up the win and go to 10 points in a four and a quarter star match. Must see. Overall, this is one of the best B-Block shows. Elgin Honma and Yoshihashi Naito definitely deserve your time. Your important standings for B-Block as we head into that final weekend. Naito is out on top with 12 points. Elgin, Shibata and Omega all on 10 points each and could still win the block. However, Nakajima and Yano on 8, Yoshihashi, Nagata and Evo on 6, and Tomoaki Homo on 4 are all eliminated from contention. Once again, if you missed the video yesterday, I'm going to be doing a video tonight, very shortly after this one, where I'm going to go through the winning scenarios for both A and B block. I had another great day in the B block, pre-tournament predictions wise. Perfect. 5 out of 5. 48 out of 80 total. Glorious! Okay, normally I do a preview here, but as I say, watch the video tonight. We're going to go through those winning scenarios. Thank you for keeping it tuned to the selling point. Subscribe for all the G1 videos coming out this weekend. See you next time. Mm -hmm.